Groby has the Burrito Optimization Game, a game that's really intended to kind of introduce people to optimization, why it's fun, why it's hard, and why we love burritos. At its core is really a facility location problem. Um, that's something that's very common um, within the world of optimization, um, but we put a fun skin of burrito optimization on top of that. So it's fun for folks to drag trucks around Burritoville to try to maximize their profit. We started building the game with a particular audience in mind. Garobi wanted to be able to use the game with data scientists to show them some example of how data science might lead into an optimization problem. In other words, once you have really good data, really good forecasts, what is left in the decision-making process? And there's a lot left. Optimization is the field that picks up at that point. So in the burrito optimization game, you are in the role of a planner who has to decide where to locate burrito trucks in a fictional city. You see the city on a map, and, and within that city, there are a lot of buildings. Some of those buildings have demand for your burritos on that day. And you're told which buildings they are and how much the demand is. And you're asked to locate burrito trucks in order to meet those demands. So when you finish locating your trucks in the way that you're happy with, the game shows you Garobi's solution, which is the optimal solution, and compares them head to head. So you're always kind of competing with Garobi to try to find the optimal solution. The burrito optimization game starts pretty simple. There's only a few truck locations that you can put your truck, only a few demand nodes. But as you scale up to, say, day five, um, round one, everything's open. So there's many truck spots, there's many demand locations. Um, and there's actually 70 quadrillion possible solutions. One of my favorite features of the game is something that we call game tips, or sometimes we call them light bulbs. When you play the game and you see the optimal solution and your solution, there are little light bulb icons, and when you hover your mouse over them, it gives you little tips about what you did well or badly in your solution, and also little hints about optimization in general. And um, those are a fun way to learn about optimization from the game and, and also learn how to do better in the next round. In round two of the game, we introduce uncertainty. So the demands at each of the buildings are now random and all we have is a forecast. So this makes it a lot harder to, to solve the problem because we're now optimizing under the forecasts, but our solutions are evaluated under the actual realizations of the demand. One feature that makes it easy to teach using the game in a classroom Room is that on any round of the game you can click a button that will download all of the data underlying the problem that the player is trying to solve. Those come in CSV files that you can then import into whatever solver or modeling language you choose. We do also provide a Jupyter Notebook that um, loads that data automatically and shows you how to solve the problem using Garobi's Python interface. You know, I've been around optimization for many years now. When I look around, I see optimizers everywhere. I look at my navigation, I look at how meal delivery services are routed, and that's how I view the world. And I would love if the burrito optimization game can kind of help give students a window into starting to see the optimization that's around them.